<laughs> what what is that? This is the new this is the new set of we're calling them pindles. And they're going to change your change your felting world. And this is the pindle perch. So online on the website, we're offering the set of the set of pindles alone, okay, or with the perch. Okay. Um the perch is nice because it keeps them handy. It's real easy to grab and, you know, from your, it's like a tool holder, so next to your workspace. Um, and the perch is handmade out of cherry. So there's some variation to them. Like this one's a little darker. So there might be a tiny variation in height. Um, and then the holes are ever so slightly angled so that the pendles fan out a little bit, ah. which makes them um, easier to grab. The pendles themselves are basically perpetual skewers. We're getting frustrated with skewers. I, first of all, I can never find one. And then when I do, um, it might have a splinter oh, yeah. and my wool grabs. And then I'm, I'm wrapping and I break it. Or your little shape pulls apart because you try to pull it Or your pull shape off. pulls apart. We've heard, we've heard people say, I mean, that's okay. Yeah. But so to solve that problem, it could be better. I approached um, a local, local blacksmith, um, Forge Creations, forgecreations.com. His name's Carrie. And he's making us this set of three by hand out of a, it's called naval brass. It's, um, I, I read up on all the alloys and such, but. They're, they're very pretty. They are very pretty. <laughs> so they are um, three different widths and three different lengths. So that this one is the most like a skewer and it goes a teeny tiny tip. So you can do very small shapes on here, but you could also do larger shapes that are going to be tighter and more firm because the center is so skinny. Whereas if you do your larger shape on here, it's gonna have a little bit of give um, because there's, there's more space in the middle. This largest pindle is still a little bit smaller than the Zoli tool. So I don't have all my, I should have all my measurements for you, but um, I didn't, I didn't look them up. Um, when, when I'm making something now and I have these next to me, I have a lot of choices at hand for my shape. So let's say I'm making um, a face. If I want to make a softer cheek, I can use the larger tool and have a nice pillowy, you know, malleable kind of soft shape. If I want to make a mouse tail, you know, or, or a cheek bone even maybe the same kind of thing and I use the smaller tool, even the same amount of wool now is a much more firm, um, you know, sort of well-defined shape. So it gives you a lot of options. When I sculpt something, I do think about, is this a bony shape that I'm making or fleshy and then that kind of, I, I work. So like a thigh is different than. Yeah. These are great for um, nice long pieces, like um, um, like on the elephant we make a spine, or on the ponies and donkeys and many other things we we add a long um, a long arch to the neck, so you can get. Actually, I want to use I'm going to use the medium one. We've had a lot of fun with these already at work just talking about all the possibilities, all the multiple uses. We were saying if an intruder comes while you're felting, you definitely have... <laughs> protection. <laughs> you definitely have some protection. You, you did come up with an entire list of pendle points to ponder. Pendle points to ponder, yes. Pertinent ones. So, and I also like, because of the hook at the end, um, you can kind of have that in your palm 
and it's not going to the tool isn't going to twist around in your hand because you can you can hold that securely. So, you know, these types of long pieces um, well, you, you didn't do one bit of stabbing on that. No, you have a, you I know. Have a shape. Yeah, I, 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 I love these things because you don't have to stab as much. I mean, you could make, you could make the hummingbirds on here. You know, you can, it, here's the thing. It's just, it's a lot like the Zuli tool, but it's a Zuli tool and a skewer and something in the middle. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it has way, way more options. Um, so... Oops, that's not the one I want. This is the, this is the design that we went with. So the pindles are here. They're a lovely, um, just a, a really nice addition to your felting arsenal. They're gonna, you know, you're gonna hand these down to your felting grandchild. Oh yeah. <laughs> because we'll all still be felting 200 years later, this tool will be here. I wonder if the archaeologists are going to find it and be like, what was that what for? What was that for? Yeah. So we're really excited to have these and, like I said, put an end to skewer woes.